that first anwar kind of going through that okay that is anna brahme ne jana ha you are stuck in anna maya kosha the thing is what shankara acharya taught and what this and the vilas told me yesterday i started thinking why people have given two things differently from uh, something similar background so it gave me a feel that maybe this uh, upanishads they talk maybe based on uh, vedanta that is veda and shankaracharya vivekachadamani is independent of vedanta it is just knowledge we should not relate that one with veda or vedanta that's what i was thinking after that so the next uh, item was uh, what exactly is the difference <laughs> i i could not really read through and uh, everything but i was trying to understand in the cap i want to do that today again so i think uh, uh, we don't have to search around and read around because shankaracharya has already done that and put it in one book form uh, which is everything is condensed so you just have to understand that should be sufficient yes correct correct but uh, since you know that foundation was there based on the vedanta thinking that shankaracharya has written commentary on that and both are same was my thought process of her even uh, my thought process was also that only so i thought he has picked up many things he has understood studied and then based on his experience he wrote viveka chudamani yes so that is in, that is in blended in that i guess in whatever he has written aparoksha anubhuti or viveka chudamani or baja govindam is all infused with his experience yeah you won't get any such direct definitions in vedanta vedanta is more of yeah vedanta is very yeah. cryptic right it's like a cryptic language which we don't have the secret code to <laughs> decode it yeah you need somebody to explain and but ah, people explain right. based on their color correct correct so upanishad is also right. suppose that's how the tradition is right they go to the gurukula stay with the guru and sit with the guru and then understand e the upanishad so you're not studied by oneself yeah asa i thought you don't get Uh, the real meaning behind it yeah even even when people start interpreting based on their color of understanding right right, right, right. Uh, yes. then i was thinking what is the real right thing and because then we, uh, we should not call this as advaita we should just call as knowledge just knowledge the moment you say advaita then you have something called dvaita this is advaita maybe something there are so many other things also which uh, Uh, not appearing here but i think five six such things are there so this is uncolored is nothing but vivek chudamani colored is all these bashyams mm. or commentaries mm. and we people like us are interested to know the essence without giving any color now over to vilas i think my question is also already built in <laughs> <laughs> so he was about to say something right bilas what <laughs> No. <clears throat> my thinking was like this that to really appreciate what is there and what is not there that's it now we have done viveka chudamani okay so that is one thing which is already done but the experience is lacking so what i was thinking is that maybe taking this taitri upanishad the if you do shloka by shloka comparison between let us say you take a section of annamaya kosha and refer to the taitri upanishad of annamaya kosha and here you should not bring somebody's commentary lata what you did yesterday where you shared about that that will distort again because he has filled up the flesh yeah yeah i know that but i i don't understand sanskrit so i can't do it by myself no no i no, need somebody's is, commentary no no there is english translation there in the in that what i had sent right that you don't have to read in sanskrit at all the english thing is there which you read mm. 
that i have read so since it was uh, something i felt was missing yes. so i searched around and found this no 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 wait wait for a second you shouldn't find something else in its place to fill it up mm. you should see it as it is mm. and then go to viveka chutamani if you okay. fill it up what happens is you already colored it Mm. example is that now we have understood brigu brigu is one sage who is experienced in everything mm. and that is indicated in the other book not in this brigu valley mm. right so now we have to take that and we have to see what viveka you are going to get by referring to viveka chudamani mm. and that will open up the door for you yeah. then you will fully be able to appreciate what is shankara meaning not that we are not appreciating shankara but then we are going here and there and hither and skither right we are referring this referring that it should be in vedas or it should be in upanishad it should be in something all that i'm not talking no, about I'm you not, i'm not doing that i know i just wanted to say that it's not about you as a uh, group of general. us yeah in general that is what we do now good point for you is you you were never introduced to vedas and upanishad like what but was introduced to right <laughs> right right so for me everything is a blank slate and you write yes yeah. you write so you have space to write in the case of but there is no space to write he has to remove a lot of things to write something mm. and he has to remove most of the things what he has learned so far yeah yeah correct so i have uh, directly learned to be very f- i have read so many biographies and all that it only advaita vedanta came i came across and little bit of kriya yoga uh, but in general i came across advaita vedanta only right so. and uh, and then there was no practices right i have couldn't find any practices mentioned anywhere or i didn't know what to do and that's when i realized i think that's after 4 5 years of reading i realized so i need a guru correct. to proceed correct right so, so then uh, with your uh, discourses and then uh, i should say aparoksha anubhuti from shankaracharya that is when i really started understanding true i'm not telling that i have not understood anything before maybe some vague understanding was there but clarity started coming from there so for me i appreciation of shankaracharya is already there no i'm not saying that even but doesn't appreciate i didn't say that see what i'm trying to say is the misunderstandings or the assumptions what we have made so far on many things will go away see now today if i were to ask you what have you understood on annamaya kosha of viveka chudamani can you be able to explain because if you experience that you can explain it easily <clears throat> now what we did is that when we started we skipped it literally saying that this is about the body and contemplation that is not required in fact when we were in that old office also you had told me once i don't think so that is that required. is long back uh, vinas so don't bring to soul whatever old things i told <laughs> yes no i'm not bringing it what i'm trying to say is that it is old time once i told that uh, when i didn't know much correct so now that you know what i'm ask, what i'm asking is let us say if we were to go through annamaya kosha again can you experience completely annamaya kosha through viveka chudamani if yes then we have we can say one milestone achieved then like that we have to do pranamaya kosha then we have to do manomaya kosha and vijnanamaya kosha and anandamaya kosha if we were to go by kosha way of doing it yes okay so we need to develop like that so the reason why i brought up this taitri upanishad especially to help but to see the contrasting differences between what is there in upanishad and what is there in viveka chudamani that doesn't mean that you are having that confusion but what i am mm. saying that we have to bring everyone to the level ground right 
right right right i i understood yes ha ah, so it is more towards helping but and also we three experiencing the annamaya kosha so my thinking was that if we were to take one of that brigu's experience or whatever he is learning there with his father who is the guru and then comparing it with viveka chudamani what are the differences you can see that is what we need to notice it's not about practice is missing or practice is there something like that what are the things are there and what are the things that are missing if i were to cite an example the anna is brahman okay and like that he gives a corollary experience uh, in information that this equals that but that also equals this so if anna equal to prana and prana equal to anna as an example and brahman is anna and anna is brahman let's say now if you if we have already experiencing brahman in anna and then negating it doesn't arise and if you negate then what happens so taking that we need to compare that with viveka chudamani to see how does shankara answer to that and that will give you the correct information on how to read this that is uh, the taitri upanishad and then what is that shankara is saying and out of the two let us say what can be really experienced and what can be only conceptualized then you leave the concept aside and go towards experience that's what we need to do yeah i think we need to deeply investigate contemplate yes uh, continuously yes. then only that experience will come yes so we can't do a piecemeal system like what we are doing today yeah yeah so that's true so if you want to do annamaya kosha so you have to do at least for a month and yes. then see how it works yes we have to do it for a month or more in in my opinion the five koshas will take more than a year if we were to do it properly right right so you have to completely understand this annamaya kosha in all respects yes then you are 100% sure you are not annamaya kosha then you can go to pranamaya kosha exactly like exactly so we are not doing so we are just learning and then uh, thinking about it and then going away and not uh, staying with one thing so we are just jumping from one to another and another thing if you notice lata by now we have forgotten all about annamaya kosha Even yeah, though, yeah. So Annamaya, right? That is true. Annamaya Kosha. There are so many shlokas are there in uh, Viveka Chudamani. Correct. And we have forgotten all about that. Correct. Correct. So how do we do it? Uh, what should be our practice? Now that is the question I wanted to ask. Because if we do what we are doing today, would only lead to the conceptualization and intellectual intellectual memorization. nothing else it will help us mm. honestly speaking i mean if that is the goal what we are want to achieve then we can skip comparison between taitri upanishad and viveka uh, chudamani and in that way then there is nothing more to do except for going beyond the the after vimukti or after uh, the liberation how the person is going to be because that's a section what we have not gone as of now so at least we need to be self realized before we go this jeevan mukta yeah so we are attempting to be jeevan mukta because uh, we will not be able to appreciate or understand yes and especially what that means yes especially 140 verses Uh, or the shlokas which talk about what is that you are going to be after jeevan mukta i f- am feeling very much uh, uncomfortable in covering them because 
knowing very well we are not there we are just covering for the sake of covering it okay then let's start uh, okay this kosha way is one way yes what are the other the ways other way you, yeah what are the other ways you can think in viveka chudamani was the question so i wanted to give you the 30 questions and all that i stopped it because uh, the thing is that we all have to come to one uh, playing ground level playing ground otherwise let's say you might answer and then uh, but is not finding time or something like that or he needs to search and that time is not there so that means it becomes uh, something not okay so i stopped it otherwise i wanted to give you those 30 questions which i had promised and saying that okay here are the 30 so we have to if we have to journey together then we have to find something which is comfortable to all <clears throat> so that but has to say yes so i am comfortable with anything I know you are comfortable with anything. Now, let's. Uh, the question is to Bhat. I think till uh, till May May month, I will have time issues. <clears throat> yes, I understand. After that, that after uh, that, after that, I'll be uh, as usual. I'll be yeah, interested but, uh, so much. Correct. So, but when you are doing that, you are involved in those preparations. So what is it that we can do and observe? Exactly, that is what I am doing now. So that is something which you are. So there need not be any time separately set aside. Yeah, I am so using this. So that you should do. I am using this, the this learnings. This is a very important time for me because many things are happening in a short touch possible time. Then I am just watching as an observer most of the time. And during this watch, I get good understanding of what is happening around me and my connection with all those things. And then what is my uh, duty as father or as a family member? I'm just trying to play that role. It's exactly like playing uh, in the drama. With the... You see, emotions will keep coming, then I am trying to keep away those emotions with the proper watching my own thoughts. That way I can say I am very successful so far. But, but yeah, the things yeah. are not going the way what I think in the emotion. But luckily things are all going the way what I think. <laughs> I don't know, it is Punyam what I, or what it is. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. If things don't go the way you want, also you have to have the same mind. Same ah, yeah. state of mind, and if we, if it goes the exactly the way or better than what you think, should not feel that elated and excited. Excitement also should not be there. So like, yes. uh, so that's something which you can do during this. You don't have to set aside, and you can also like, look at Annamaya Kosha also, right? So you are seeing a lot of people. So you can also do those things, and then even you see all oh, this we are doing for Annamaya Kosha only. See, now uh, the Annamaya Kosha of Taitya Upanishad and Annamaya Kosha, I, was, I am going through that. So, Shankaracharya has a huge difference of understanding. Here he breaks Annamaya Kosha into scientific way. Mm. There Annamaya Kosha at a high level only understanding. Anna comes, Anna goes and you are Annam. Mm. Uh, but Shankaracharya's Viveka Chudamani is much more meaningful here because it is straight away easy to understand. But it takes time to... Break it like that when you look at the people. Mm. But the technique is very good. Yeah, yeah, the technique is very good, correct. Everybody so, has the same kind of hands, yeah. same legs. So, as same, Vila uh, mentioned, instead of going through the Vedanti, I will go through Viveka Chodamani understanding. Right, so now what next should we do? I think we can discuss this once again. It's like, uh, uh, what is that? What is that? Going through the same thing again, then it is much easier to okay implement. Is my thinking. So we can whatever go... we studied, na. Once again, those things which uh, makes a lot of 
and it helps for us to meditate see this is called a meditation technique right understanding awareness is meditation and when things are happening not just closing eyes and doing it fine so if you want we can go through annamaya kosha again ha huh. if that makes sense yes okay so in that case in that case why we should study taitari upanishad again we have gone to that just now in my small book all anvakas i have covered when you are talking no worries we don't have to there is no necessity i'm just saying if there is doubt then that is required if there is no doubt then that is not required yeah see my doubt was like yesterday this talk something which is, which talks about annam and uh, after that manomaya up to vijnanamaya it goes and finally it is coming back to annam and it explains in detail about annam okay but when you go to shankaracharya it very clearly breaks that annamaya kosha into so many number of parts so this approach and that approach there are two different approaches one explains at a high level another explains at detailed and clear one so now the question is which is better vivek chudamani ha ah, that's all vivek chudamani is better no doubt because the taitari upanishad just anmaya it talks about that and it stopped there is nothing beyond that correct anjagosha but there it gives a much more clearer picture of same anmaya kosha in terms of understanding it's like you know stone in a temple it, it is uh, what you call deity for the people after prana pratishta and for the person who is uh, this uh, doing this uh, uh, sculpture work for him it is just a stone he is converting for vedantic person it is something uh, uh, say rama krishna and all that and then for a person with the poetry if for him it's a nice beautiful thing he can write so many poems on that it depends on from which angle you see but vastu is same and vivekachadamani when we see from the spiritual angle it's perfect for us right but the thing is whatever we studied it is just a theory study what you have done for practicing it is nirantara abhyasa is needed but i prefer that nirantara abhyasa related clarifications discussions and really doing it fine so we can go to annamaya kosha yes yeah. yeah and then let's stay with annamaya kosha till end of may <laughs> is it is it annamaya kosha till end of may or is pancha kosha we can cover till end of may because everything is covered for, especially for me it moves from annamaya kosha up to jnana my gosh things are going well very happy but i should say that why i am happy is it really that happiness is because of that materialistic life see if we wait to whatever go... happens around me is materialistic now no the thing is like this we have only hmm. 11 shlokas in hmm. annamaya kosha hmm. this 11 ko- shlokas can be contemplated for one full month Mm. can be done even for 2 3 days can be even done in a 2 hours mm. so the question now comes is that how do you how do we three of us want to journey this 11 shlokas in our daily life mm. Mm. that is the question otherwise there is nothing else there because we already know it mm. so the first two two, two of uh, the koshas annamaya kosha and pranamaya kosha are nirjiva mm. okay but in taitri upanishad they both are having jiva life and it is brahman but mm. here it is not so so we mm. have to now see it in a different way and really see whether it has life or no life mm. 
So we require to do some practice there. So the practice here is, let us say, all the time we are eating. From breakfast to lunch to dinner. And uh, yeah. whatever we are doing, we are only eating, either having coffee or tea or drinking water or eating. That's a majority of the time. And we are earning for that only, not for anything else. To make oneself comfortable of the body. And all the medical expenditure or test or all that facility is all for the body only. So now what is our strategy to really see that in one month time or 10 days time or 20 days time or what is our time frame? Like uh, Lata said that she wants to do until May end which is one month from today. Today we are on 19th of April. So month end of May means 30 plus another 10 days, 40 days. <clears throat> Can we do for 40 days? Yeah. So what do you want to do is the question now. If you say yes, what is that we will meet every day and what is that we will discuss? For the next 30 uh, days. Yeah, my, my, my thinking is uh, go through the teachings and fully understand. I think whatever you understood, it is not there in the mind now. Maybe when you go through that, I suddenly will remember. And then, uh, what do you call it? Meditate upon it. Okay, fine. So now, how do you want to go about? You want to go through the shloka on your own. Let us say 154. 154th shloka is Annamaya Kosha. Subtle body effect. One, 154 is. Just a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Annamaya Kosha. Annamaya. One minute I'll search. N N A M A Y A control. Anybody will understand this because of science. One fifty four. This is a product of food. It constitutes the food sheet. It exists because of food and dies without it. It is a bundle of skin, flesh, blood, bones, and filth. Never can it be the self-existing, the eternally pure Atman. So if you take that one shloka, mm -hmm. how do you contemplate on that? That's a question I had asked. First, first doubt I got like this. Yeah, it says body is product of food and it has got so many things. Question is why? What do you mean? My why? body is like this. Maybe some other animal body is in some other color, some other concentration. At high level, it is okay, something similar. But why it is so? Question is that. You know the answer also. 
No, you can understand by going through sheath. But if you are asking this question, why this <coughs> sheath came into existence? For that, there is no answer. Now, at least whatever you know, up to what depth we can go. Well, let us try to understand. Yes. So, why it has come because of karma? Now, why karma came is because of samskara. Why samskara came because of vasana. And where does the vasana exist? They all exist in intellect, which is. vigyana maya kosha and we have mm. gone through that right vasana mm. yeah. we had given the uh, assignment also yeah so shankara chari has covered that so but we are starting from annamaya right we have not reached vigyana maya kosha yes no. so so I, i think we have to when you, if you have to really contemplate we need to forget about uh, the end thing if you really see what you are experiencing as your body exactly right and you have to see your own body what is there inside that and then you have to see what is there in uh, maybe other people's body when you can go to animals and then see what is having they are having plants so all like that and what's the food you are eating where it comes from and what is it that you are putting so an annamaya means it is like that we need to and forget about other things but then just understand what is this annamaya kosha means then you should feel i guess uh you or body and other people's or body are not different you don't have a special attachment to your your body because it is the same as all the others that is right so can i say clearly that it is existing because of connection of atman no you do, do forget that uh, but if you start doing that you will not proceed at all you will get stuck up saying that okay then you have to bring in that atman which is what the brigu valli is all about okay Yeah, now you have now self existence you remove it why it is existing but understanding this is what it is intellectually yes but now in my practice i should do it instead of when i look at some person i should break that into uh, what is skin flesh blood bones and filth not his or hers yours to begin with first yours hmm if you have done what you are supposed to be doing let us say i'll give my own example uh, but what i should consider my body to be can you tell me what i should consider you should consider your body as one way of understanding is you have uh, panchendriyas like five organs which is receiving information and action oriented five organs or if you ask me only the physical body gross body again yes, to where you have from your toe to toe to till your head all those parts which you can visually experience by touching you can experience from outside there is one way of understanding it is my body but it is not me when we say it is my body we can clearly get a feel of these are the things there top to bottom then other way of understanding is exactly what is written here yes this body has got uh, skin flesh blood bones etc 
this is the physical and then, yeah. and then this is all we have to disintegrate this skin is different flesh is different blood is different and all that Com- combination has happened nothing much to worry about it but it is different the, up to that level we can understand when you understand up to that level it's very clear that it is not me you know that immediately it comes to you feel that that is not me if you break no you are somehow or the other bringing connecting it to atman which is not saying this is not me can you see it without that without that atman it is just break it so can we do that is my question ankaracharya we are breaking yeah that is very much possible because that much visualization is possible ha huh, that that's that thing can we do it for a month yeah okay. yes yeah lata but you one are... feeling comes that that you know one feeling comes it is very bad feeling about it you will not have good feeling but what it should be in the mind i should know while doing it you should i should not have any feeling you should get disgusting feeling and hey, that's what i said it's a bad feeling yes you should get that that is the right way and then only vairagya will come that's what sankracharya says no disgusting mm. throw it aside really true mm. the moment see the easiest is to understand that way is a dead body if you think your own dead body no that is correct then just the body and the maya kosha only there is nothing inside so if you ask me how will you contemplate here is my answer to it mm. watch the rise and all the other things going at the same time consider what is coming from below <clears throat> and keep on looking the below rather than the above <clears throat> that's all what it is to begin with that is number 1 action number 2 <clears throat> go to a open sewage where everybody's same thing is coming out oozing out now try to see whose is whose <laughs> and go to the most stinking place i think but will not get opportunity to do during this preparation <laughs> no no he can do it no he can do it when he is uh, when he is uh, booking the um, um, for that uh, marriage hall, hall marriage hall and all that he can see people shitting and doing all kind of nonsense immediately after they finish their shitting he should go to that uh, toilet and enjoy the freshness one minute what is seen that you got that feeling but what is that to enjoy as freshness you use the last word <laughs> no i am just giving in the other way around <laughs> okay enjoy the study <laughs> enjoy the opportunity yes not opportunity enjoy the smell he which is a, coming he is sarcastic uh, but mm. speak <laughs> so you feel disgust and the idea is to get the disgust for the body yeah, for doing disgust i don't think you have to you have to go to that level it comes no, you know it when you doesn't. go around no, you, you you always keep no, getting the such things when you go to one care market and back you no, know no what, but, what it is no but if it was coming then all of us would have been seen by now okay what you are telling is we love our body so much you are telling that you should not have that feeling no we love not only our body we love everybody's body and that is the reason we make sure that we decorate it mm. is it really this is the way to understand where should i money now <laughs> that is exactly the question, question i had asked yesterday because i haven't heard anybody explaining me like this so far and that is what he is explaining 154 no
it's not my uh, invention but Mm. Yeah, I think the other way is you can think about what all dirty things are inside your body. It but, is all covered up nicely, so you don't see it. Ah, but yeah, but the, but nicely the prob- packaged. Yes, yes, yes. No, but yeah, the- you go see pus and blood and uh, mucus and all that kinds of things are there inside your body. Everything only when it comes powerful. out, we feel. Only when it is coming out, you feel disgusted. Right? When inside the body, you don't see it. but you try to see it inside the body you feel disgusting for the body itself if you cut your body you can't see it it's so bad no no that yeah. that will never happen but see the thing is now you see by next month we are supposed to or within next month we are supposed to do a body check right <clears throat> am i not thinking on what will happen if i go for the test it's a filthy body how does it matter yeah. how does it matter whether i go or i don't go does it really matter or should it matter strictly speaking ha uh, but uh, this is important now now the role you have to play some role here now no no company wait. says no wait wait company wait. says no this but is the first still available you go and get it no wait Check. wait don't go there don't go so fast ah. slow ah. down slow down now the question is what are you carrying to the hospital or to the di- diagnostic center body body do you, are you aren't you liking that body to be taken there or you are not liking that actually i am not interested to take it there because i'm looking at my future i'm going there ah now that is the problem right so if you have yes. seen the filth mm. you would not mind either taking there or not taking there because there is an expectation and there is something on that body we have concern on that body so to let go of attachment to the body we need to practice this meaning a okay. question is do we need to take the body there or not from the from the vivaka chudamani point of view no, if the role play means i should take it no that is after this after we have finished annamaya kosha mm now we are not in a state where we can decide whether to take that body or not that vehicle should be taken to the service center or not is a question mm. right intellectually speaking we have to take it but when we take yeah. it we have an expectation that all the report should come as per what i think it should be right yes but what if it is not there then your manomaya start gojal start working there ha ah, the fear will <laughs> catch up yes now how do prana I... will come down immediately the moment you see some bold letters yes so now how do i get out of it yes this i agree whatever it is you should not your prana should not move change it should not move, move. your 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 mind should not move yes 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 ah this is a real test now it will move right it will move why because i am attached to the body because i like my annamaya kosha yes sir because i have consider annamaya kosha is brahman i am annamaya kosha i have yeah. this body yes my existence is because of this yes people are talking to me because i have a body right yeah correct no, nobody is going to talk to me if i don't have a body right right so i want people to talk to me because i have a body so i am this body yes so how do i get rid of it but i cannot take a blade and cut it to see whether pus will come or blood will come or this will come or that will come on a daily basis two things are coming one the urine is coming to the feces is coming so i need to consider that feces and urine to be myself 
that's including that <laughs> no that is included but we exclude it it's not mine yeah <laughs> But Have if I... you consider that way throughout our life, what all we ate, what all this is factory, uh, what do you call, the clearance has happened. If you look at that, that is much, much, much more than what I remain as 60 plus kgs. Exactly. So, the contemplation is this. If you want to get Vairagya, you need to do this. If you want to get intellectual vairagya, then we can imagine, oh, I have my body consist of bones and this and that and all that and nothing is going to change. Whenever I see someone, I will recognize immediately as my son or daughter or brother or sister or father or mother or whatever it is. See, you tell me now. I am going to somebody to invite them for function. Hmm. You invite. Okay, when I invite in my mind, what happens? <laughs> Nothing I, happens. I look at them like that name and Rupa and Nama. No, you have to look them as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, either me or them, everything is same, right? Same only, they are going to eat and do the shit in the same place, uh, but no, where it will go? They are doing mm -hmm. that in their home, you are doing it at your home and I am doing okay. it at my home. By having that understanding, how to play my role? You just play the role. No, no, I have to hand this. over my, what you call, invitation virtually or whatever by talking to them. When I talk to them, when I share my, say, through WhatsApp, for example, scanned copy of this invitation, what happens between me and them in my mind? Nothing happens. You are, you are giving that invitation to yourself. That's all will happen. I am giving this invitation to myself, from this body to that body. That body, which is same, right? It's consisting of the same thing. Whatever you are seeing in 154 is the same thing. Yeah. In that person. Some robot is moving with some uh, uh, brain inside. <laughs> no. That is not other body. <laughs> no. Everything inclusive is the shit only. Including the brain and muscles and bones and uh, all that is the shit only, ultimately. Yes. So, one shit is giving a shit to another shit, that's all. It's like a rotten uh, banana. Just today, banana looks nice. After three days, it is completely spoiled. Yes, it's spoiled and you, it smells horribly, right? Yes, yes. That's exactly... Any fruit that way. Ah, so, you have to consider everyone like that, including and yourself. human body will be very bad if it happens. You no. know, if it is people not attended to their body, yes. the smell you cannot tolerate the highest. Yes, a stinking smell, right? But do I need to think like that? No, no, like don't think. What I have. No, no thinking. Watch it. There is nothing to think. See, for me to watch, okay, if I see other person, but when I see that, it, it gives me a pleasant feeling. No, that I know. If you that look is at a small baby, you have one feeling. If you look at a teenager, different feeling. And after age, something middle age, different feeling. And elderly people, different feeling. So all that feeling I should not have. I should have only as body. Yeah? You should have only as what is in the third line. Tvak, Charma, Mamsa, Rudira, Asti, Purisha, yes. Rashihi. Pacharma Maham Sarudhira Asti Purisha Rashihi. No doubt. I should see like that only? Yes, sir. If I see like that, then what is there to communicate after that? You simply uh, communicate. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the practice what we need to do. Hmm. This is 154. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And you might not be able to do it. Also, I will tell you. You will forget. No, no. If I practice, no, I can reach reach very closer to that. But I suddenly, know that. You know, it will vanish also because I am communicating. That time, suddenly I forget. No, it's Till like... Till then, yes. when there is silence, I can practice. While communicating, practicing is tough. No, when you are now, you are in your home. I oh, Sorry, you are in office. So, after yeah. this meeting, whomever you see, uh -huh. can you make it a shit... 
i can i can definitely try yeah. so that try it out. try it out the last Very one right purisha purisha is shit only yeah yeah okay so what we need to do is practice or uh, including this body that is so called my body right i have eaten whatever i have eaten looked good like you rightly said but the banana if it is 3 4 days you keep it it gets spoiled and all tomato to onion to whatever gets spoiled right yes looks fresh but gets spoiled correct <coughs> now that same thing is eaten inside and it doesn't take 3 4 days for it to get spoiled it gets spoiled immediately yeah i think uh, it is three and a half hours digestion right no no put it in the, the mouth in the mouth itself it is spoiled you, now i remember you you should tell me <laughs> pit and again eat ah that is the way like yeah ah that is what you need to do next that time i was opposing but now i feel that is the one way of doing it not one way that is the only way of doing it otherwise no vairagya sir and i can't eat na oh, how is that possible <laughs> that is the fun now that is what we need to practice that is it's so impossible to eat i am telling you it is my own uh, saliva and the my own food and it's my own hand with which i have eaten yeah it's only once it will go through that cycle you cannot bring even one upward see sometimes during when you are omitting na due to poison or something food poison that through your throat something will come back like gas you cannot even tolerate that no you don't go so far but try it out today afternoon uh-huh. when having lunch uh-huh. just for convenience sake not today you are in office so whenever you are at home just push your mouth a little don't even remove it from your mouth just try smelling by touching your finger to that thing it will be like puking only like vomit smell forget even bringing it out and eating it yes that we need to practice for a month yeah yeah i will try no try we have to do 154 mm then if you do then you have to watch how the urine is coming how the feces is coming and that is all you only or that is all me only whatever i i called as me is going away hardly in 2 hours time i have had lot of water it is my water i have paid for it and i have had water now i need to urine it cannot stop it but it is part of me so i have to watch this me going away and it's gone now where does it go to a huge reservoir of everybody's yes and where is he or she or whoever not there that is what annamaya kosha is all about mm-hmm. and if we can do that properly you will get vairagya that's the first thing to happen without vairagya whatever we do is of no use yes so this is my uh, practice you can choose whatever you want but this is my practice of observing the shit i remember you used to tell in the beginning when we started meeting you go and stand in the sewage correct thing and keep watching correct 
I keep on doing that. And myself are opposing. Yes. Huh? We said you can realize all this sitting inside the temple. Why you have to go there? Yeah, you and Padmasri used to yes. tell me that's not required. But without getting disgusted, you cannot attain anything. With vairagya, will not come. Smashana vairagya will come for a little so, bit of time. This is about this is about the my body. What about the food? What I am consuming? It is also same thing. Same thing. Input equals exactly output. Exactly the same. Yes. Input equals output only. That Maya is mm. input. Mm. The vegetable cutting and cooking it and a very nice fragrant smell is coming, right? That mm -hmm. is Maya. Reality is what? What is coming from below? Forget so the that. raw food is a lot of respect. It is kept somewhere, decorated and all that. Yes, that is Maya. But what is coming out is considered that is not you. Yes. So, we are fighting for what? For that Maya. Is there any fight? Now, one minute. One minute. What, what are we fighting for in this case? The food, see, when it enters our body, raw banana, good banana, we respect it. No, you have, we have a raga for banana. Mm. Right? That's a raga. Mm. Because it is sweet. Correct? Mm. See, why you and I like coffee? Because it gives us a kick. Yes. Or it gives us that pleasure. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Now... When we go inside the office, we search for best of the coffee, right? Yeah. So, we have two of them. One is Kota's coffee on one side and uh, Cafe Coffee Day on the other side. Yes. Okay. What does coffee consist of? It consists of mud only. Yeah. Okay. So, you aren't we drinking mud or powdered mud? Basically. And what is milk? Mm. Milk is coming from blood. Yeah. Of the animal. Aren't we adding together with sugar, which has no sugar actually, and drinking it? And what happens after drinking? If somebody were to puke it? Or why somebody? I only puke it. Then what happens? Will I drink it again? That it has come out? Yes. Velocity is uh, 9.30. I have another meeting. Yes. You, uh, yeah, it's already 9.30. Yes. So we will we'll continue have... on this tomorrow, tomorrow about the next one. My question we are going to clear, right? All this in daily basis <laughs> understanding. This like will this. be one month practice. So, okay. tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> you want to get rid of Anamaya Kosha immediately. That's not going to happen. I will practice, I will practice. Ah, so, tomorrow, I'll, I'll practice. Ah, tomorrow, what I am going to ask you is, how was your day observing various shit? Okay. Simple. For all the three yes. of us. Yeah. So, we will do it till May 11th, 12th, till your daughter's marriage. Uh, but okay, okay. we will not say it till end of May. So, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's relieved now. <laughs> he's relieved. Otherwise, he was <laughs> constipating. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Thank you. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Okay, Good thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.